वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एन आइडेंटिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑफ द प्रोटीन व्हिच इज द बायोरेट टेस्ट व्हाट इज बायोरेट द वर्ड बाय मींस टू एंड यूरेट इज फ्रॉम यूरिया सो बायोरेट इज बेसिकली अ कंपाउंड व्हिच इज फॉर्म्ड बाय द कंडेंसेशन ऑफ द टू यूरिया मॉलिक्यूल्स टुगेदर सो दिस वन इज द फार्मूला ऑफ द बायोरेट नो वट इज द रीजन फॉर नेम वाई दिस इज कार्ड एज बायोरेट टेस्ट इज बायोरेट यूज ड्यूरिंग दिस टेस्ट नो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बायोरेट इज नॉट यूज एनी वेयर इन दिस टेस्ट दिस टेस्ट इज कार्ड एज बायोरेट टेस्ट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द रीजन डेट दिस बायोरेट ऑल्सो शोज द पॉजिटिव बायोरेट टेस्ट मीन दिस कंपाउंड गिवस पॉजिटिव टेस्ट सो डेट्स वाई दिस टेस्ट इज कार्ड एज द बायोरेट टेस्ट What is the biuret reagent that is an alkali, maybe aqueous NH or aqueous QH, hydrated copper sulfate which is blue in color, and the potassium sodium tartrate which is basically used for the stabilization of the cupric ions and to form the chelate or ringed complex. What is the procedure? Take a test tube, add one to two mL of the test solution, then add biuret reagent which I have already mentioned. and shake this test tube well and let it stand for 5 minutes after 5 minutes now look at the contents of the test tube if the color in the test tube that is blue it means there is no color change because the blue color is because of this hydrated copper sulfate so no color change shows negative biuret test and the result is that protein is absent but if the color in this reaction mixer that is changed from blue to purple or violet so it means it is the indication of the positive biuret test and the result will be that protein is present now my dear students what is the chemistry of this biuret test when a protein is made to react with the biuret reagent then basically cu plus 2 ions of the biuret reagent they react with the protein the color of this cu plus 2 ion that is blue and after the protein reacts with the cupric ions then this complex is formed which has the violet color if the protein will be there then this complex will be formed and color will be changed from blue to violet so it will be positive biuret test if the protein is absent then this reaction can not take place so blue color will not be changed to violet and that will be the indication of the negative biuret test my dear students all those organic compounds that have these groups in their structure they show positive biuret test but the single group any of them if that is present single in a compound then that compound cannot show the biuret test so for any compound to show the positive biuret test that compound must have two or more than two of the following groups in its structure so that's why amino acids because they have single ch nh2 group they do not show positive biuret test but the dipeptides tripeptides polypeptides they have two or more than two such kind of groups in their structure like you can say uh, c double bond o nh groups present in the dipeptides tripeptides polypeptides so that's why they will show the positive biuret test but amino acids will show the negative biuret test for the identification of the amino acid we use the nin hydrin test if you want to watch my video lecture about the nin hydrin test then the link is given in the description now dear students what is the practical application of this biuret test the biuret test can be used to determine the concentration of the protein in the urine samples or even the concentration of the protein during different spectroscopic analysis that can also be determined and during that spectroscopic analysis we also perform the biuret test so basically it is for the uh determination of the amount of the protein or the to check the presence or absence of the protein in the test solution